Hi, I'm Jordan with Kimray, where we help energy producers solve their biggest control challenges. Sometimes it can be a challenge to tell exactly which Kimray product you're working with. Is your back pressure regulator always called an AAR? And is that the same as the 230 SGTBP? In this video, we're gonna review our coding systems so that you can accurately identify your Kimray products every time. Kimray has been serving oil and gas producers for over 70 years. Our valves and control equipment can be found in oil fields all over the globe, some brand new and some having been in operation for many years. Over all those years, several iterations have been made in our product options, and with these new products came a need for new naming conventions. These schemes for naming products have different intents. Our goal here is for you to be familiar with our products no matter what naming system you may hear in your line of work. Let's walk through each of these. The order code is the simplest, shortest code used to identify a product. You'll probably also hear it called a product code or an item code. You may see this on our website or in a catalog. However, the order code is usually not on the tag or product itself. The order code refers to one specific product. For example, when you ask a Kimray store or distributor for an AAR, that indicates a two inch threaded body back pressure regulator with standard trim. You may be wondering where these letters and numbers come from. In most cases, the first letter refers to an organizational scheme from an older catalog section for that product. A was simply the first section of the catalog and the next two numbers are typically alphabetically generated and do not have significance. The order code is not always limited to three letters. Stainless steel internals, for example, may include S6, or an electric product may have an E added to the end. The more suffixes added to the code, the more this code looks like a product description. The description of the valve will be on the tag or body. You may also hear this called the model or the item number. An example description would be a 230 SGT BP. As opposed to the order code, this description code does not refer to a specific product, but can be applied to a wide amount of similar products. Here's what the numbers and letters on this description mean. The first number is the line size, two inches. The second number can usually be multiplied by 10 to get the working pressure of the product. In our example of the 230, this would be 300 pounds per square inch. There are a few exceptions to this rule, like on our weight operated valves. The next three letters tell us the connection, type, and body style. In this case, screwed, non-bleed pilot regulator, and through body. The last letters tell us the service the product is used for, which in this case would be back pressure. You can download this reference chart to help identify different product descriptions. The serial number is the most valuable number for anyone from Kimray to identify your exact product. Our online serial number search can pinpoint your equipment to tell us all the information. When you enter your serial number at Kimray.com, you get the order code, order number, date made, and the date it was shipped. The dates are helpful for knowing if it's a very old product or if there have been any product notices specific to this item. If your serial number does not give any results, you can contact Kimray Product Applications and they can track down the product for you. This naming convention didn't start until 2003, so if you think your product is older than that, contact our Product Applications group for assistance. The first three numbers stand for the year. 209 means 2009 and 221 would be 2021. The following three numbers are the day of that year that it was made and the third set of numbers is the number relative to the total number of products built that day. The configuration code is not on the valve. It's simply how you build a valve to order. This is the newest naming convention for Kimray and began in 2020 to better align with industry standards and improve customer experience. The code builder charts are included in the front pages of each catalog section and allow for the most precise naming of a product to include all the needed information in one strand of letters and numbers. In our AAR example, the standard configuration would generate the following code, which would mean a pressure regulator series, 
back pressure model with two inch line size female NPT in connections, ductile iron shell material, full port inner valve size with 10 to 300 pounds per square inch control range operating for standard surface type. For all the information you need about using and creating configuration codes, you can watch our other video specific to that topic. These are our four naming conventions. Now, let's take a quiz. Here's a product description. 330SGTPR-DREG. Can you identify what type of end connection this valve would have? The S in this description stands for screwed, which is an NPT end connection. How about application? The PR in this description stands for pressure reducing. If you ever encounter a missing or illegible tag, just take a few photos of the product and contact product applications. For any other questions about naming configurations, leave a comment below or contact your local Kimray store or authorized distributor.